So there's no doubt about it, Blackout is an absolute beast of a truck. It's been built to tour, it's been built to tow heavy loads, and it can handle itself in the bush with those heavy loads. So let's have a detailed look into what goes into a truck like this. The gear that you have to put onto it to make it a standout machine. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is it's not your average 200 series wagon, because it's not a wagon. It's been converted into a ute. So it's taken the, the power and the performance of a 200 series Land Cruiser and converted it into the practicality of a ute. So it's a dual cab ute. And Creative Conversions, who are some of the best in the business, we're gonna show you where this all starts. What we've actually done is we've taken your brand new Land Cruiser and we've made it into two pieces. It's not as simple as you just cut it and roll it back. So we've actually cut it, we pull it back, we clean the chassis up, we overlap all the joints and then we put plates over the top to really give it some strength. All right, so if you're gonna start with a truck, you're gonna walk around a truck, I reckon you start with the front end. I reckon it's the most impressive part of the truck. That's where you can get a lot of the looks from. So what I've gone and done this season is I've put a new bar on. Now this one is uh, by Off-Road Animal. Now it's called the Toro Bar. And what it's got, if you'll notice, it's actually got this top hoop on here. Now that's for animal strikes. I, was, I wanted that little bit of extra protection around my headlights and my grill, just in case I did hit something while I'm out in the bush. Now, um, putting some lights on there, that's pretty important of how and where you mount the lights. The beauty of this bar is, uh, if you have a look here, inside this section here, there's a light bar in there, and then I can put four, four spotlights on the front here. And I've got these two XTMs. Um, they're a seven inch uh, LED. And then on the out here, we've got the nine inch in the middle. Now, these ones in the center here, they're the XTM. Paragon lasers. Now, lasers, was they shoot laser beams? No, no, not quite. But if you have a look in the center here, that's, that's a little spot, like there's two of them. So there's one in each light. And then around the outside is those uh, LED, cluster of LED. So you actually see like a little spot that goes further down the road, which is pretty cool actually. Now this whole setup here, all the little extra fitment that I've done to this truck was done at McCormack's four-wheel drive. Now those guys specialise in these bars, by the way. Um, they're dealing with a lot of these day in, day out. Yeah, we love the off-road animal brand. We supply and fit heaps. Yeah, it's got all the fruit. It's, it's a lot better than other bars too because you can change the winch in and out without removing the bar, where most bars you've got to pull the bar off to, to change the winch, which is a great little option. Um, yeah, a little light bar fits in the middle of it. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. They're built very well, so they've been tested. Obviously, Jason's testing them, so if they can handle what Jason can throw at them, they can handle what most average people will do, yeah. And the two aerials you'll see mounted on the top of the bull bar here. Um, this one here is for the X-Track Pro, which is part of the in-car, so that's a new aerial from Muniden. This one over here, that is just for the phone booster. All right, so let's face it. The V8 Land Cruiser's got some power, but you can get a lot more power out of it. And when you're towing and, and doing those tough tracks that I do on the bush, you want that little bit more power. Now, how do I get that power? Well, there's a few couple of upgrades that go on in here. First thing you notice is the snorkel, so I can get some airflow in there. Deceptively deep, that one. And that snorkel is then plugged into the old air box. Now, that is a fat built snorkel and air box. It's got um, a, a, you know, one of those k &N filters in there so that you can get a better flow and then also it's really fine so that when you're getting that, those really dusty conditions. So I find that, I really like that. Um, I've got an intercooler upgrade there. 
Uh, also, there's our Ultimate 9 throttle controller, which plugs into your ECU throttle there, and that really upgrades, you know, it upgrades the drivability of the truck. Is it that sort of, that power straight off the bat, you know, and you can dial it down or dial it up depending on what sort of conditions you're driving. All right, mate, give it the berries. Yeah, baby! So there's no doubt about it, we do truckloads of towing in the bush, so the clear view mirrors, they get bolted on. They get bolted on straight away. But these ones are the next gen mirrors, so they're the upgraded mirrors, their new version, um, their power fold, they got everything going for them. Mate, I wouldn't leave home without them if you're going to do some towing, that's for sure. So I've also chucked on a set of Clearview power boards because you need to be able to get up onto the roof. The beauty of them is they just tuck away. But up on the roof here, we've got um, a platform rack. So I've put the platform rack on from Rhino Rack. We've got the Stow It mounts for the, uh, the shovel, which are just so easy to use. And of course, on your roof rack, you've got to mount things like, uh, we've got the Max Tracks, they're the extremes, okay? With the removable little uh, knobs there, they're pretty good. And um, I've also, if you have a look, I've also mounted one of those um, Slimline, XTM Slimline light bars. I find them really easy to mount because they are a Slimline light, yet they punch out a lot of light. Now there's also a lot going on underneath this rig. The stuff you need to put in if you're gonna go out to those remote areas. So the first thing I've got is I've got some um, really cool tires. Now uh, these are Black Bear tires and they're uh, uh, an all-terrain slash mud tire. And they're sitting on these hammers. These are new rims from ROH. They're a hammer rim. They're pretty cool rim. They look really good, especially for blackout. Now in here as well is we've got the suspension. Now suspension on a truck like this is extremely important. And I'll tell you why, is because you've got to, you're getting a lot of weight. There's a lot of weight going into this truck and we're towing a lot of weight and we're towing it in really adverse conditions like off-road, you know, in really rough terrain. And, and what's holding it all together? It's your suspension. So it's fully adjustable. Uh, it's that outback armour you know, adjustable suspension with the coil over, the little helper coils on the back shock absorbers. Uh, it all sort of comes together and creates a really good suspension package. Now also underneath here, to protect your underbody, there's a set of bash plates there from Brown Davis. And of course, if you keep going back from those bash plates, there's the, uh, the Brown Davis long range tank. Now this is a serious tank. It's got 273 litres of diesel in it and it's just one single tank. That's a hell of a lot of diesel. Generally, I carry more diesel than I need um, compared to the other trucks, and they've got long range tanks. So this one is outstanding, the amount of diesel that it can carry. So you wouldn't believe it, but there you can do some serious modifications inside a 200 series cab. And we're not talking about just some dash mats either. It's got so much going on in here. It's like a bit of a spaceship because the first thing you'll notice is the huge instrument layout. So completely, literally taken out. The guys at EC Off-Road have replaced the whole instrument cluster with this futuristic space age looking thing. Um, and on top of that, the steering wheel's been replaced as well. The guys at PVS have put a, a, a fully kitted steering wheel in it, which is actually quite comfortable to the hand. Um, there's a massive big display, which is also uh, EC off-road as well. And I've got the overhead console in here, which I found really good to mount the X-Track 80 Pro from Uniden. Um, that's their new in-car radio. Um, you know, I've got, a, I've got a mount there that holds my iPad. Um, I've even put uh, a Red Vision monitor. So I've got two monitors and I've brought that and incorporated it into the front here on its own little mount. Off-roads, a lot of mud and a lot of crap comes in and out of this truck. So I've protected the seats with the Superfit seat covers. They're those denim, black denim ones. But yeah, you can do so much in these cabs. Look, I'm telling you, a touring vehicle would not be complete 
without an absolute kick-ass canopy. But on the outside of the canopy, before we even get inside, I've put this custom Raptor coat on it. So I've covered that aluminium checker plate and guards with a custom Raptor coat, which um, it really protects it. Um, but let's face it, the thing is called blackout, and that's why I've done that. Anyway, let's have a look inside the canopy. When you're setting up a canopy like this, you got to, the first thing I think about is power. You need truckloads of power, depending on what you're doing. And for what I do, I use a lot of power. I've got some huge Red Arc lithium batteries in here. There's about 400 amp hours. And all that's managed by the Manager 30 there and the Red Vision screen. And, and, and it's also, we've also got that whole Red Vision system where um, you know I can operate everything from that switch panel there. I can operate all the things that I need to operate. But I've got twin compressors, so there's two twin compressors in there, and that runs the hose reel, our airbags, um, and, and even the tyre spider is connected into that. On top of that, you've got to run things like uh, refrigerator, so I've got the Dometic fridge sitting in there. That It's a 110, it's an upright fridge. Um, I've got um, you know all power banks up the top here because I need to charge things like iPads and, and camera batteries and, and drone batteries and all those things you've got to think of which is going to drain the power out of your system if you're sitting for long periods of time. All right, so the other things that you put into a canopy are things like uh, uh, outboard slides. So there's a 20 horsepower Mercury that sits in the back here on an outboard slide. Um, and of course, there's a boat sitting on the roof. Don't forget that one. That's got the LMAC boat loader, which makes it easy to get off and on. I've put a set of rod holders in here to protect my fishing rods. That was always a big thing with, uh, in the early days, I didn't have anywhere to put my rods. And, Nowadays, they've got these travel rods that are like three piece and they fit up there really well. Then on the kitchen side is my coffee machine. And you remember to run something like that, which is a 240, it requires battery power. And that's where I get back to that amount of battery power that you need. And then of course, you've got to convert that battery power from 12 volt to 240 to run things like coffee machines. So you need that big inverter as well. 2000 watt is what I use and that seems to cover those little luxuries. Now, the, the whole build isn't complete without a wrap. Now, the guys at Sinorama have done what they call the blackout wrap. But the wrap also protects the whole vehicle. And a couple of years down the track, I can actually literally peel that wrap off and underneath would, this, would be this uh, black metallic pearl paint in really good condition. So there you go guys, that's Blackout. It's an epic truck. It's been designed to head out into the bush and tour this country of ours. Now it's taken us to some serious epic places in Series 13. And I can't wait for you guys to see Blackout in its natural environment.